Okay, guys, ready? Here we go. Take one. Okay, so I'm back. You're Robert once again. Okay, in this video, I will be covering how to create a webinar for selling courses online. So if you're a course creator, content creator, affiliate marketer, or even a coach or a trainer, then you're not you're not going to want to miss this video. This video is for you. Okay, again, we're going to get into the live software that I use, the live examples, pretty much everything you're going to learn how to create a webinar, even if you have it. And we're going to get into all the stuff about that webinars don't work anymore or what should you change to make them work for 2024, 2025. So if that's you and you guys are ready, let's go ahead and get started so I can show you how I did that. Okay, so I'm back. Should be able to see my pointer on screen. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Okay, so again, let's go ahead and start off with uh, today's date, like always, so you guys know when I made this video. Today's October 21st, 2024. It's a Monday, 6 19 p.m. at nighttime. That's right. Okay, so anyhow, let's go ahead and jump right into this. Okay, really quick, let me just get a try to educate you a little bit for the people who are new on what a webinar is for and why we build them and all the crazy stuff. Okay, so I have one of my little slides here. These are platforms like Google ads, Facebook ads, YouTube ads. These are the actual ads, three ads here. And here is the webinar right here where you see me pointing. Thank you page, access the webinar and purchase now and book a call. So that's basically your standard funnel, pretty much the way we all do them. Okay, there's really not not that much that more that you can do. You can do some other customized things, but we're going to get into that here shortly. So let's talk about what is these webinars for? Why do we do them? It's to try to sell the products that we're selling, because keep in mind, we're running what's called top of funnel, cold, uh, cold traffic, a product that's a cold, cold product. Uh, cold traffic product nobody knows about it nobody maybe they might not know about you they don't trust you yet they have to feel that they know you they trust you and they understand what they're basically getting into with you and if they watch a webinar they're going to know a little bit more about you and then if they get a free download even that's really going to help as well so enough said let's just go ahead and look at one of my live examples okay so this is what we call a hybrid webinar okay so you basically got your webinar on the right somebody could still come over here and learn about the sales page or this could be the video for book a call i switch them around on two different pages this one goes this talks about the sales page and then i have another one that talks about book a call they can go here book a call and they can go here and click on the landing page so i'm giving them options three options there's the full webinar page so i used to just have a regular webinar page so what did i change for 2023-24 i would say coming into 2025 the webinars did get shorter i try i don't try to do them an hour long i've never had those really long boring webinars i even say when my webinars start hey uh, i don't hold any of the good stuff to the very end you're welcome to pause me grab a cup of coffee and it's not a real live webinar. Everybody knows that we don't use those real expensive softwares to create webinars. We just don't. So when we go to the access page, here's my access page so you guys can see this. Here is how I set that up as well. Somebody just clicks start to play the webinar. And if, you know, when they're done, they can read this. They can either purchase it here. It's going to take them back to the sales page. If they want to learn more. They can book a call here and learn more with us speak to us one-on-one -on -one, uh, come here and get a free download or come here and get a free download so we got two downloads why do we do all this stuff is because we're getting them more engaged with us so that's what we do and of course we show them a thank you page which is right here again we're going to change our thank you pages around i have a couple different ones this is a really simple one my other one has login log out on there it has like a lot of buttons on there tells them what their steps are their next steps to actually do so it's really cool this is one of the basic ones but i suggest that uh, change it around always let them know exactly what you're trying to do because that's a, what a thank you page is very important and don't overthink your thank you page it's just as important as as much as all your other pages as well okay i'll get into that later one day but uh, makes a lot of sense to do that Okay, so back here, just so you guys know, 
I'm trying to stay on track here. We're going to get into different types of webinars. Let's talk about fairly quick one last time about why people say webinars don't work anymore or should we just send them straight to a sales page or what? Well, the way to find out is to do this. You might recognize this slide on one of my last videos that, that I did. So these go across if you want to know. So these are just ads running, but we're basically looking at from here on. So this is the webinar one. You can do a sales page or book a call. So a lot of times people say skip the webinar and just show them the sales page, checkout page, thank you for purchase, access product. So you can test them. If you don't if you're not sure if your webinar is really pulling in anybody, when you run ads, one ad will shoot to the webinar, another ad will shoot to the sales page, another ad will send them straight over to book a call. So that's what I do. And I've done that so many times, I already know that my best converting page is the sales page for some reason. But it just depends. I say that, but then I always say, but wait a minute. When I tested it last time with the different audience or the lookalike audience or whatever I was running that webinar under leads, if you're using Facebook, it's going to work good under leads, not sales, leads to get people to sign up for the webinar and take your downloads. Works great when I go under leads, not sales. When I run this one, the sales page one, I'll go under leads as well or I'll test the sales uh, objective from Facebook. Sometimes people get confused or not sure which one we basically use. So that's what I'm doing. So there's always a, a different way of doing it. So let me show you another different type of funnel here. And that's the book a call one here. Book a call. So we're doing, well, this is the webinar one, but we have book a call connected to the webinar, which I already showed you that. So I want you to test both because a lot of people are even saying just run a straight video like I'm showing here, an ad, and send them to the button that says learn more from your Facebook ad or, or a YouTube ad, and then just they're gonna go straight into book a call and skip the webinar all the way. So for me, I'm not giving up on them because I'm still getting a lot of people signing up and it's free if somebody signs up to my webinar. I mean, the ad's not free, but if they're coming through a lot of my organic traffic, keep that in mind. I'm getting most of my webinars from organic traffic that I've, I've posted somewhere about join this webinar. They're going to go there and they're going to get into my autoresponder. And once they're inside, let's go back to this one here. So the, when they're in here, and once they sign up, right, thank you for sign up, that shoots them straight over to the autoresponder as well. So they're going to start getting a series of emails and then they can become a client later and you can send them something else. So now you guys know a little bit of why we do webinars. I think I talked about that enough. So let's go ahead and look at some really cool stuff. Let's talk about the platforms. I don't think I did that at first. Okay, so again, you have Optimized Press is the one I use with WordPress, which is $1.99 a year, no monthly fee. Um, <clears throat> Or we can use ClickFunnels, which is 150 a month or, or 300 a month. Very expensive. And Kajabi is about the same. Now, there's other platforms out there. Those are the only three that I do recommend. Uh, whichever one you're using, just get comfortable with it. Because this is one skill set that you, that you need to really be good at, is be really good at, at your platform. It's not something where you want to like not be good good at. So let's look at some here because I could duplicate anything with Optimized Press and I don't have a high, I don't have any fee at all. I was going to say hi, I don't have a monthly fee at all. It's $1.99 a year and, and it's amazing. You can do anything. I'll show you some here. This is just kind of like a boring one. This is an, another webinar here, you know, different style. You can do whatever you want. Always changes to a video. Uh, we look at this one here you can change the colors around, play the video really cool cool stuff here that I'm showing you so there's all kinds of different things that you can do with optimized press so if you never and I'm not trying to just plug this software I'm just showing you different types of webinars that you can configure and you could build these with any software you can duplicate what you're seeing on, on my screen so again I'm gonna scroll up and down so these are your standard webinars but I've never seen anybody do what I've done I call it the hybrid I'm always creating something crazy 
but the reason why I'm still using it is because it works and if it works you know I'm just gonna keep on using it and I just I'll get back to mine here in a second and here is another one okay so now you know what I'm sure you've seen what basic webinars you know look you know look like and all that but if we go back to mine what happened was just real really quick here is when I started testing this crazy thing and the one that I usually run has book a call here the video is just this video here from book a call uh, before I go any further let seem to like talk over myself here if you're gonna do a book a call page uh, set them up like somewhat similar to this if you don't have it set up a lot of people just do this and they just show the calendar that's wrong if you want to do it right make sure you have a welcome video a, uh, and I, I like to call it book a book a demo strategy call talk about what's going to happen in the next 30 minutes or 40 minutes whatever you're trying to give them and I talk about that on video as well and the most important thing is this form I'm trying to find a little bit of information about the person coming over is trying to book a call to see if they even qualify and, and that we want to even talk with them and then they could go ahead and pick a date and time there's the bottom of the page okay back to the webinar page here what I was saying is when I started testing all this stuff that's where I left off I even show you um, I noticed that it just works and if something works why change it back to the way it was I just feel that a lot of people have seen enough and they want to go ahead and go straight to the sales page or they want to purchase so wherever that one person is I don't want to take that chance of them saying I don't want to be forced to watch a webinar I just want to be out of here purchase or maybe just, I want to just ask this company a few questions so that's where I'm at with that and again one thing I have not showed you guys which I'm going to do right now if I can click the right one when you're doing a webinar this is what we basically do this is the very start of it. This was my last one, I believe. And I start with this. I start with slides. And I kind of like kick them up a little bit more. Like just about there. And say, hey, what's going on? And I'm usually off camera. Last time I was on camera. And then we go through them. We go through all the slides. We talk about everything that's going on. You take your time. You don't really want to go too fast. And you talk, talk about everything that you feel that you need to. That's going to help you convince people. To listen to you and trust you that's what basically a webinar is and at the very bottom just flying through it there's a very bottom we talk about what's going on and that's how I end them with this call to action always have a call to action okay so that's what I wanted to say there let's see where did I leave off at uh, well, let's go back to this one here okay so again when you guys are setting up your webinars you don't have to set them up one way if you're wondering, well, I don't want to spend too much money in a webinar, don't spend any money at all. Hopefully you're not using a software that costs a whole bunch of money or it's just, well, hopefully you're using WordPress. And again, why WordPress? Because it's just a one-time fee once a year and we can duplicate any page that somebody else has if we have to. But uh, I can make any type of page. I think I missed this one here. I was going to show you guys this. Here is inside of Optimized Press. When you click on these, you can see View Collection. It goes into all kinds, but just look at all the different options. There's just tons of funnel systems. These are complete collection with all the pages connected. Like they each have like 10 or 15 pages connected that all mimic each other, so they all go with each other. They're they're not the same page. But they're like the webinar pages, the sales pages, everything, upsells, downsells, everything. It's a complete funnel system. That's what it basically is. And you can see that they're all in here. There's tons. There's tons. I mean, it goes on and on. That's why I love them so much. You can just do all kinds of stuff just like this and create anything that you guys want. But again, back to mine, because I got a couple questions on this. I'm all like, yeah. That's what I use, and again, test this always with the strategy of, of free. We're, we're not trying to do this. So again, here's what you guys should test right here. With YouTube ads or Facebook, you can do both of these, LinkedIn even. Start posting on all these places and just send people straight from the video that they're watching straight to the webinar page, straight to the sales page, or book a call and just see which one is converting 
more than the other and then you guys will know if you do a webinar also do one that's 30 minutes do one and let them know immediately when the webinar is starting one of the tricks that I do is say hey welcome to the webinar we should be here about 30 minutes I don't really see us going past that and sometimes you have to film that part after and connect it to it because you're not going to know how long your webinar was so if you say it in the beginning you might have to chop it up and cut it and then splice them together on editing just to make it sound right but that's what I do but that's a lot like a whole bunch about you know webinars that I can pretty much uh, shove this in in one little package here so you guys understand it's not webinars are not gone they still work uh, you're going to get a lot of people that sign up you're going to get a lot of people that do your downloads and you're going to grow your list and you're going to retarget all those people with your autoresponder so hopefully that made a bunch of sense here if it did you guys got some value out of it you guys know what to do smash the like button all that stuff uh, leave it in the comments any questions you guys have and just pretty much uh yeah you know everything everything will be in the description but i just want you guys to understand how webinars work the easy way okay so everybody i think i did a i think i didn't miss anything i'm looking at everything i had set up for you guys uh yeah i think we're okay all right you guys so now you guys understand how it works and i will see you guys on the next video